what is up guys welcome back to another video on the channel and in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i edit my videos but before you get started if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe and turn channel notifications on so you won't miss out on any future videos i post because i do upload once or twice per week and also guys make sure to comment down below because i do respond to all my comments and guys if you could do me a huge favor and drop a like on this video let's see if we can hit 30 likes and with all that being said let's get straight into the video all right guys so the way i record my videos uh, I use OBS Studio. I have a video on how to record uh, with OBS Studio. I'll put it up on the right side of this video. And to record my audio, I use Audacity. This is what I use to uh, remove all the background noise and amplify my audio. And then to actually edit my videos, I use Sony Vegas Pro 14. Uh, every time I open up uh, Sony Vegas, it's already set to 1920 by 1080, uh, 60 FPS. All I need to do is drop clips to the timeline. So the timeline is right here. So let me just drag this random gameplay. And then it'll ask me, do you want to set project video settings to match this media? And I'll just put yes, because it's the same thing. Uh, and I, I recorded it in 1920 by 1080. So uh, the way I record my gameplay, I use an Elgato. I just hook it up to my PlayStation and Xbox and I can record my gameplay. So the first thing I do before I start cutting my video, I right click, go to properties, and then disable resample. What this will do is it's going to, let's say if I don't disable it, if I'm doing something fast or whatever, it's going to create like a little, how do I say, like a little shadow or something like that. It's going to look like a little bit blurry. So you got to disable resample so that won't happen. So once I disable resample, I right click again, go to group, and then remove from. What that does is it removes the audio from the gameplay, because usually I don't use the audio from the gameplay. So I will just delete this, and then I'll add the audio from Audacity. And then all I do is I, I sync it up. The way I sync my audio to my video, I will move my mouse and be like up, down, left, right, up, down, left, right. And then when I'm editing, I look for that part and I just sync it up. And then I just cut the parts that I don't, I don't need. And then once that's done, I just start cutting. All right guys, so once I'm done cutting, it'll look something like this. So all I do is put the clips together. So I'll just start putting them all together. So once I do that, I fade in and fade out the, the beginning of my clip and the end of my clip. So I'll, I'll fade in the beginning of the clip and fade out the end of the clip. And then once that's done, I add my outro. So I'll just put it up here. Once I'm done with that, I add some background music. And then I make it a little bit lower. So I'll drop it down to probably like 35. So then I, I'll add some lower third. I just right click insert video track and then I just drag my lower third uh, if you don't know what a lower third this is what a lower third is so it's this right here so once I add the lower third I go to transitions and I go to gradient wipe uh, I click on the linear left right and I just drag it and drop it and then go to linear right left and then drop it and then that gives it like an effect of it fading in and then fading out slowly uh, it's a little bit laggy but anyways so i just copy it and then paste it i probably had like uh two to three of these so paste and then once that's done i'm pretty much done editing my video so i'll just go to render as and then already have a custom template it renders in 1920 by 1080 60 fps so just hit render and then start rendering and yeah guys this is how i edit my videos 
And that pretty much wraps up today's video. So hopefully you guys did find this video helpful or enjoyed it. And if you guys did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.